Russia prepared 90,000 troops for a new offensive, but Ukrainian army destroyed them with HIMARS. Before the United States allowed the Ukrainian armed forces to use Western weapons to strike Russian territory, more than 90,000 Russian troops were preparing for a new offensive on the border. According to the Associated Press, since the end of May, Ukraine has the ability to attack Russian troops and air defense systems 20 kilometers from the border in the Kharkov region. Ukrainian crews reported that the HIMARS missile systems were launched just hours after permission was received. The stakes were high at the time as Ukrainian military leaders expected a new attack designed to divert troops from other fierce battlefields in the Donetsk region. First Deputy Defense Minister Ivan Gavriliuk told the Associated Press that there were at least 90,000 Russian troops deep inside Russian territory being prepared for a new offensive, writes Associated Press. One of the fighters with the call sign Hephaestus told the publication about the first hours when permission to use missile systems were given. Himars did not stop talking all day, he said. From the first days, Ukrainian forces managed to destroy entire columns of troops along the border awaiting orders to enter Ukraine. The dynamics changed almost immediately, allowing Ukrainian forces to stabilize this part of the front line. Previously, the Ukrainian armed forces could only repel approaching infantry attacks. They can now use more artillery against Russian gun emplacements. At the same time, Ukrainian officials hope to persuade American allies to authorize the use of ATACMS against specific targets. We could attack the command posts of the Russian brigade and the entire northern group because they are located 100 to 150 kilometers from the front line. Hephaestus said conventional ammunition won't reach them. With it, we can do a lot to destroy their command centers. The United States allowed Ukraine to use American weapons to defeat any Russian forces attacking across the border, and not just those located near the Kharkov region. On June 23, the terrorist attacks in Dagestan killed more than 15 police officers. Sergei Melikov, the head of the Republic of Dagestan of the Russian Federation, announced this. According to him, more than 15 policemen were victims of a terrorist attack while protecting the peace of Dagestan. One of them is the head of the Dagestan Lights Police Department, Mavladin Kadernabiv. He was seriously injured during a shootout with terrorists and died. Sergei Melikov said at least six militants were also killed following the attacks on churches, synagogues and police posts in the cities of Derbent and the regional capital Makhachkala which are about 120 kilometers apart. The attacks took place in the Republic of Dagestan in the North Caucasus, a predominantly Muslim region on the Caspian Sea that has a history of separatist and militant violence. No group has yet claimed responsibility for the attacks, which come three months after ISIS affiliate ISIS-K said it carried out an assault at the Kroka City Hall in Moscow that claimed more than 140 lives in one of Russia's deadliest terrorist atrocities in years. Melikov described the possible involvement of sleeper cells and suggested the attacks may have had foreign help. Operative search and investigative measures will be carried out until all participants of the sleeper cells are identified, which, undoubtedly, include some that were organized from abroad, he added. While the investigation is underway, some local Russian officials pointed the finger at Ukraine, without providing evidence. The State Duma deputy from Dagestan, Dmitry Gadziev, said he believes special services of Ukraine and NATO countries could be behind the attack. But Russian Senator Dmitry Rogozin disputed the claim, saying in a telegram post that writing off every terrorist attack as the machinations of Ukraine and NATO would lead to big problems for Russia. June 24, 25 and 26 were announced as days of mourning in Dagestan. The relevant decree was signed by Sergei Melikov. It should be noted that in the evening of June 23, two Orthodox churches, a synagogue and a traffic police post were raided in the cities of Darbend and Makachkala.